back to my channel. My name is Tish and in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare sea moss and I'm going to be sharing with you a powerhouse sea moss smoothie with all of my favourite ingredients wrapped up all in one. So this is going to be my first smoothie of the year. But for some reason, this morning I woke up and I was craving a smoothie. So I'm listening to my body and I had some sea moss in the fridge already prepped. So I thought it was the perfect time, the perfect day to create this smoothie. And whilst I'm creating the smoothie, show you guys how I prepare my sea moss. But there are different ways to prepare sea moss. Um, I'm gonna share with you what I personally do, but if you would prefer to keep your sea moss raw and you find that that's beneficial for you, then by all means, do what feels right for you. I know I'm definitely gonna get asked where I get my sea moss from and I get my sea moss when I go to St. Lucia and I grab some or when family go and then I ask them to bring me some back. I'm not too familiar of where to to grab it online so if you guys whether you're here in the UK or you're in the States if you could just comment below where you grab your sea moss from just to help other viewers just so everybody can have access and could possibly potentially try out this recipe last year when I was in St Lucia I visited a sea moss farm I got to see the process of how the sea moss is grown and then how it's caught and then how it's dried and then packaged. So it was a really interesting experience and I got to see sea moss in its most natural purest form. This is what the sea moss looked like fresh straight from the sea. I know there's a lot online about fake sea moss and sea moss being too white. When asking the sea moss farmer why the color of sea moss is a white colour and obviously I've seen a lot online saying that that's not real sea moss. He explained to me that the sea moss is actually bleached by the sun so as you can see these trays are for the sea moss to be laid flat on. Naturally the sun will bleach the sea moss because it is left out in the sun for quite a while. So this is a natural process, um, nothing has been added to the sea moss or nothing will be added to the sea moss. That was my little experience visiting a sea moss farm. Let's get into how we prepare the sea moss. So this is the sea moss that I used to create the sea moss gel. It's from a company called Lena and Family. So I grabbed a glass bowl and I placed the sea moss into the bowl. The sea moss is almost immediately going to start expanding. So you want to put a hefty amount of water into the bowl. And then I grab some lime and I squeeze the lime juice into the bowl. This is to clean the sea moss really well. And it's also to remove the excess salt and any kind of sea taste. Then I threw the remainder of the lime into the bowl and then I left it to soak covering the bowl. So yeah, like I said, immediately the sea moss will start to expand. So this is the sea moss after about an hour and this is the sea moss after about eight hours of soaking. So once the sea moss has been soaked, you want to give it a really, really good wash. You are definitely going to find some debris, some sea things within the sea moss. You want to wash it and wash it and wash it again until it is completely, totally clean. I added a little bit of water to a saucepan, bringing it to a slight boil and then added the freshly washed and soaked sea moss to the pot, lowering the heat completely, adding some more fresh lime juice and the remainder of the lime as well, and then cooked it for about 20 to 25 minutes, leaving the lid off. You do not need to put a lid on. I promise you that it will overflow if you put a lid on. So leave the lid off. Place the sea moss into a high speed blender. Be careful if you don't have a high speed blender because the temperature might be a little bit too hot if you're just using a normal blender. So in that case, maybe wait till it cools down a bit to blend it. So I then left the sea moss to blend for a minute or so until it was completely smooth. Then I added it to a sealable glass jar. So after about five minutes, you'll see the gel start to thicken up and I let it cool down and then I stored it in my fridge. So that is the sea moss gel ready to be used. You can use it in desserts, you can use it in smoothies, you can add the sea moss to soup, so you can actually just put it on your skin, on your face as a face mask. 
got a few other things that are going to go in my powerhouse smoothie and that includes some homemade almond milk. This is delicious vanilla and cardamom almond milk which I made a big batch up of yesterday. A squeeze of lemon juice, some acai which I had in my freezer randomly. I believe these smoothie pads are from Whole Foods. Some blueberries of course, got to have some blueberries in my smoothie. So some banana, I've actually got some frozen bananas in the freezer so I'm going to go and grab a frozen one. I'm not going to use, use this one. A couple of dates, a little bit of avocado just to add some richness, some texture and some creaminess to the smoothie. And then some reishi powder along with some chlorella powder. So I was using a lot of chlorella in the summer and I definitely saw a big shift in just like my energy levels and my skin also improved a lot when I was drinking chlorella mixed with coconut water. So I was doing that all during the summer. I saw the benefits externally and I felt them internally as well. Reishi is actually an interesting one because I haven't done much research on reishi I just randomly one day um, picked up some in my local health food store I was like oh let me try this I kind of heard heard about reishi but I didn't actually know what it was beneficial for I can say that it definitely boosts my mood so I feel like it's a mood enhancer and I don't know if that is one of the known properties of reishi if it does anything it definitely enhances my mood so I'm gonna be adding this mood enhancer to today's smoothie <laughs> Yeah, that is the one. Oh my God, that is so good. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a smoothie for months and this just tastes brand new. It tastes like I've never ever had a smoothie before. If anybody is wondering if CMOS has a taste, it definitely doesn't. Given that you wash it, and you prepare it properly, you won't get a taste from the sea moss at all. Right now, all I'm tasting is the acai, the berries, the almond milk with the hint of cardamom. It's just working so well for me. <laughs> Remember to leave a comment letting all the other viewers know where you get your sea moss from. I'm sure it will help somebody. Let's all help, let's all share. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>